Hey guys, it's Jamie. We're back with some more BMW stuff. Uh, today we're going to be changing the blower motor uh, for the AC and heating unit. Now, um, the motor started squeaking probably about a month ago. It sounded like crickets inside the dashboard. And um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and replace that motor today. Um, let me show you a few things that need to be done though before you can get to the actual blower motor, which is right there. Uh, number one, you have to take the, the, the glove box out. So the glove box uh, essentially has two parts to it. There's the inner tray part that goes there, and then we have the other part that goes inside of that. So to take this out, you have to lift this up and out, and then once you get that lifted up and out, you can remove this part, otherwise it won't come out. So now that we have that um, taken out, we have a clear view of the blower motor. Uh, as you can see here, this is where the, the power goes in. So you just undo, undo that, and there's three screws. There's one uh, right here. There's one at the bottom. Actually, there's two more at the bottom. Um, let's see if I can get up there and take a look here. So you can see there's a, a bolt here and a bolt here. So after you take those two out, uh, the motor slides out and you can rotate it and pull it out. Uh, getting it back in is kind of a little tricky, uh, but uh, let me go ahead and remove these three bolts and then I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so now that we got our bolts removed, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down. There you go, you can see they're on, on rails. So just pull it straight down, and the motor, with a little bit of rotating, will pop right out, hopefully. There we go. So now we got that out, uh, we're gonna go ahead and inspect the inside of the, uh, the vent here. Let's take a look. It's pretty clean. Nothing really wrong going on in there. So, um, the glove box is optional for this one, but it makes it a little easier to kind of see what's going on because you're dealing with underneath the dash. So, um, with that, let me go ahead and um, get the other motor and I'll go ahead and install it. Alright, so, here's the old motor. You can see it doesn't spin very well. This one, you can spin a lot easier, but this one's very st stiff. So we're going to go ahead and swap this one out with this one here, install in the reverse order, and I'll get it all back together. Okay guys, that wraps up the video for doing the fan install. Uh, the installation is reverse of what it is, it's the screws that go in the bottom of the, the tray there, and I think there's two other screws, and then down the bottom there's a whole bunch of screws uh, for the plate that go in there, uh, screw there. Uh, one further there, and I think there's something in the back. I think it's cool not. Uh, the nice thing about the, the um, let's start about the shaking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lock the car. I'm going to go ahead and try and open this up. It won't open. If I unlock the car, we can now open this up. So, uh, that's a good thing about this car. Uh, sorry about the shaking once again. Uh, that's a good thing about this car is, is that everything pretty much locks, uh, which means it's a secure car. Uh, the neighborhood we live in is like that, unfortunately. So, um, sure, you can open it up. It's, it wouldn't take much, but it's it's, it's a deterrent for m in most cases. So, um, as far as replacing the fan, I've seen a lot of people uh, use the Amazon version and some other things, uh, causing wiring problems. I haven't run into that. I think what I have installed currently is an Amazon fan. Uh, it did fit and bolt in properly, so there was no problem with that. The fan looks a little bit different than stock, but, uh, I haven't had any electrical problems like other people have noticed, so... Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below as always. Uh, thanks for watching and do your thing.